Hello friends, this video on Rational Numbers Part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we know that okay, rational numbers are present on the number line, it's time to compare rational numbers. How do we know which number, which rational number is bigger and which one is smaller? So that, that becomes a very interesting question at many times. Now there exist many types of rational numbers. We have positive rational numbers, we have negative rational numbers. So let us deal with them one by one. So let us first understand how do we compare two positive rational numbers. Now any two positive rational numbers can either have same denominator or they can have different denominators. So you can have these two different categories. So one option is that you might have numbers like this. 3 by 9 and 1 by 9. So these are two different rational numbers. Both are positive, but both of them have the same denominator. Now, when the denominators are same, your job becomes simpler. That's because when the denominator is same, you just need to compare the numerator. So in this case, the numerator here is 3, numerator here is 4. So 3 is greater than 1, therefore 3 by 9 is greater than 1 by 9. So basically when you have same denominators, then you just need to check the numerator. Whichever has a greater numerator is a greater rational number. It is as simple as that. Now the question comes, what happens if we have different denominators? So let us take some example. Let's say you have two rational numbers, 1 by 2 and 3 by 5. Now here you do not have same denominator. So it is very difficult to understand which is smaller and which is bigger. So what do we do? So in this case, what we do is we are basically going to convert both of these rational numbers into a form such that both of them have the same denominator. So what do we do for that? So we find out the LCM of the denominators. So LCM of 2 and 5. So what is LCM? Least common multiple. So we have learned how to find LCM in our previous lessons. In fact, in class 6 also you have learned how to find LCM. In case you have forgotten, please refer to that particular video of mathematics. So LCM of 2 and 5 would be 10. Right? Now what we will do, you consider the first rational number. What is that number which if you divide by, which you multiply by 2, you will get 10 in the denominator. So 5. So 2 into 5 is 10. So you divide both numerator and denominator by 5. So what do you get? You get 5 by 10. So basically 1 by 2 and 5 by 10, they are equivalent because they refer to the same value. Because you are multiplying the same number to the numerator as well as the denominator. Now we do a similar thing for the second rational number which is 3 by 5. We have to multiply the numerator and the denominator in such a way that in the result the denominator is 10. So 5 into 2 is 10. So you multiply the numerator also by 2. So this is 6 by 10. So now you have two rational numbers 5 by 10 and 6 by 10 where the denominators are same. Now if you compare 5 by 10 and 6 by 10 which is bigger? 6 is bigger. So 6 by 10 is bigger than 5 by 10. Now what is 6 by 10? 6 by 10 is equivalent to 3 by 5. So 3 by 5 is less than 5 by 10 which is equivalent to 1 by 2. So you can say that 1 by 2 is smaller than 3 by 5. So this is how we compare two rational numbers provided both of them are positive rational numbers. Now in a similar way let us see how do we compare negative rational numbers. So it's exactly same scenario. Now we will imagine that we are comparing negative rational numbers. Now let's say with same denominators you are given two rational numbers minus 5 by 9 and minus 8 by 9. So which one is bigger and which one is smaller? Now when you see when you compare 8 with 5 you would say that 8 is bigger than 5. So should minus 8 also be greater than minus 5? No, it is just the opposite. Minus 8 is less than minus 5. Can you tell me why? For that you will have to have a look at the number line. So this is how the number line is arranged, right? And this side you have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on. Now what happens is, as you move towards the right hand side, you move towards positive numbers, bigger positive numbers. So as you move towards right on the number line, the value increases. 
Now this remains true throughout the number line. So whether you are talking about the right hand side of 0 or left hand side of 0, as you move towards right, the value increases. That's because it is something like this. Let's say you have two chocolates. Now you, have, you ate one, so you are left with one. You ate that one also, you are left with zero. Now you borrowed one more chocolate from your friend. So you have minus one because you need to return that chocolate to him later. Now you borrowed one more chocolate from your brother. So your balance is minus two. So basically what is happening, your balance is gradually decreasing from two to one to zero to minus one to minus two and so on. So basically in any number line, as you move towards the right, the values increases. As you move towards the left, the values decreases. Now, when you compare minus 5 and minus 8, minus 5 comes before and minus 8 comes somewhere here. Right? So, from minus 5 to minus 8, you still go further left. That means your value is decreasing. That is why minus 8 is less than minus 5. So, one simple tip to remember this is whenever you are comparing rational numbers with negative sign, just do the reverse of what you would have done with positive sign. For example, if you compare 8 and 5, positive sign. So, 8 will be greater than 5. Since both of them carry a negative sign, you just reverse your sign. That means in this case, minus 8 will be less than minus 5. So, that is what you need to do. Perfect. So now in this case, can you tell me which will be bigger minus 5 by 9 or minus 8 by 9? Definitely minus 5 by 9 will be greater. That's because minus 5 is greater than minus 8. Okay. Now let's see how do we, we handle the different denominator scenario. So the concept will remain the same as we did in the previous slide. Let's say you have minus 1 by 2 and you have minus 8 by 3. So we will find out the LCM of both the denominators that is LCM of 2 and 3 which is 6. Now let's consider the first rational number. We are going to divide the numerator and the denominator with the same number such that the result in the denominator is 6. So 2 into 3 is 6. So we multiply it by 3. So this is minus 3 by 6. Now we consider the second rational number which is minus 8 into 3. Here also we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number such that the denominator in the result is 6. Now 3 into 2 is 6. So we multiply the numerator also by 2. So this is minus 16 by 6. Now what do you have? So you have two rational numbers minus 3 by 6 and minus 16 by 6 such that the denominators are same. So let's compare the numerators. Forget about the sign. Which is greater? 3 or 16? 16 is greater but you have a negative sign with both of them. So that means 16 is smaller. So minus 3 by 6 is greater than minus 16 by 6. So minus 3 by 6 is actually minus 1 by 2. Minus 16 by 6 is nothing but minus 8 by 3. So you can say that minus 1 by 2 is greater than minus 8 by 3. Now let us compare positive rational numbers with negative rational number. Let's say that one rational number is positive and the other rational number is negative. Now in this case, this is the simplest scenario because in this case, a positive rational number will always be greater than a negative one. And this will hold true always. Doesn't matter what the value of the rational number is. If it has a positive sign and the other one has a negative sign, then the positive number will always be greater than the negative one. So do you want to know why? Well, that's because whenever you look at the number line, you would see that any negative number will always be located towards the left hand side. And we have seen that as we go towards the left, the value decreases. So it doesn't matter whichever negative number you are talking about. All the negative numbers are located towards the left of the positive numbers. Therefore, all of them are smaller than the positive numbers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.